New tonight, a man accused of sexually assaulting a woman running through a park may have struck before. Yeah, police say the same person is connected to three similar incidents, and each time the suspect took off on a moped. Teresa Priolo is live now in Fort Tryon Park, where the most recent incident happened. Teresa? Yeah, Lori and Steve, we are here at Fort Tryon Park, and there are still people walking through the park even at this late hour. And as they do, they are seeing these signs, which say wanted for sexually motivated robbery. When these scooters come on, they can zip out. That's why the perpetrators are using them. They zip in and out of traffic. They move quick. They're very difficult to stop. It's the new way for criminals to escape their brazen and at times heinous crimes. Motorized scooters, a getaway vehicle nearly impossible to stop. With these scooters, uh, many times the persons, as you see in this, they're masked up. They're very hard to identify. Detectives have to track that scooter a long ways. The latest offense occurred in Fort Tryon Park. Wanted posters wallpaper the street lamps, warning park goers of the risk. The latest attack happened in broad daylight Saturday. A woman out running is attacked, dragged by her hair behind a tree, punched in the face, and then sexually assaulted. The crook made off with her watch and phone before fleeing on a motorized scooter. It's the third time in recent weeks involving some sort of assault and a moped. You have people that are riding all over the city on these motorized scooters, mopeds, et cetera, that are committing these crimes. According to Comstat, reports of rape are up this year over last, but other sex crimes are down dramatically. I think the NYPD needs to create a unit that focuses solely on individuals on these motorized scooters and dirt bikes. When criminals understand that there's an enforcement agenda that's targeted towards their criminality. And shortly before air, we reached out to the NYPD to see if, in fact, these posters have led to an arrest just yet. Steve, they tell us not yet, but they are still looking. And, of course, if anybody in this area has any information, you are urged to call police.